our brain is a fascinating organ. Our nervous system is heavily influenced by our neurochemistry. An abnormal change to the neurochemistry of our brains can lead to significant changes to our perception of the outside world, and in extreme cases, it can even prove to be lethal. Let's take a look at a case reported in 2019 of a 62-year-old patient whose life drastically changed forever. One day, the 62-year-old musician from India wakes up and decides that he wants to work on a new musical piece. As he's playing, he notices how his visual surroundings starts moving a bit, and he starts feeling slightly nauseous. After finishing his musical piece, he also notices how he is experiencing after images containing the musical notes he just finished playing. These symptoms were not a one-time occurrence. He would often complain to his son about experiencing these symptoms each time he played an instrument. The after images would last anywhere between just minutes to several hours. The after images that this patient was experiencing is referred to as palinopsia. His symptoms of experiencing movement in his visual surroundings is referred to as oscillopsia and this was also a symptom that the patient experienced regularly. Over the next 2-3 or three weeks, his visual acuity, which refers to the sharpness of his vision, deteriorated. This led the patient to book an appointment with an ophthalmologist. After examination, the doctor diagnosed him with immature cataract in both of his eyes. Subsequently, the patient underwent surgery within the following 10 days to fix this problem in the hope of curing his symptoms. However, rather than improving his visual acuity, the patient actually experienced a deterioration of his vision following the surgery. One month after the surgery, and thus two months after his initial symptoms, the patient experienced significant visual dimness. Due to his falling visual acuity, his gait, which refers to his manner of walking, became increasingly unsteady. He also started to show cognitive decline. Specifically, the patient started to experience impairments in his episodic memory. Episodic memory refers to the long-term memory we have of specific events in time. The patient also started to experience difficulties with visual spatial tasks. This refers to tasks in which we have to interact with specific objects at specific locations in our environment. Furthermore, the patient also started to experience brief involuntary shock-like jerks throughout his body. As a result of these symptoms, the patient got in contact with scientists who started to examine his symptoms. A comprehensive diagnostic investigation was conducted in which he was tested for multiple different illnesses and possible neuroinfections. However, all of this testing came out negative. The patient was then suspected to possibly suffer from Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, abbreviated as CJD. CJD is a rare progressive neurodegenerative disease that affects about 1 in 1 million people worldwide. In order to examine whether the patient indeed was suffering from this disease, the researchers conducted an MRI scan which revealed bilateral caudate nucleus and putamen hyperintensity which can be seen in these scans. These white spots typically indicate damage to axons, which means that there is a loss of the connections between neurons. Since the caudate nucleus and putamen are part of the basal ganglia motor loop in the brain, these regions are involved in the planning and in the initiation of movement. Thus, the damage to these regions most likely explains why the patient was experiencing problems with his gait and coordination. A follow-up EEG also showed diffuse slowing of background activity with periodic sharp wave complexes along with intermittent triphasic waves. Based on the results of their extensive testing, the researchers' suspicions were confirmed and the patient was diagnosed with CJD. 
CJD is a progressive neurodegenerative disorder that causes brain cells and connections to die. This disorder is one of the most lethal neurodegenerative disorders that exist. Given the progressive and lethal nature of this disease, there unfortunately was not much that the neurologist could do to help the patient. The patient's relatives decided to give them domiciliary care through the terminal phases of his illness. This case study is quite a remarkable one. However, before we discuss why that is, it is a good idea to first discuss CJD in a bit more detail. CJD is a neurodegenerative disorder that is caused by misfolded cellular prime proteins that cause normal proteins in the brain to misfold. Normal prime proteins are harmless and they exist throughout the body, but they are most common in the brain and other nerve cells. The exact purpose of these normal prion proteins is unknown, but they are thought to play a role in the communication between certain types of neurons. Proteins usually start off as a string of amino acids that fold themselves into a 3D structure. This allows the proteins to perform useful actions within our cells. However, sometimes mistakes happen, and the proteins are misfolded. In other words, they are folded incorrectly. These misfolded proteins are often recycled, but they can easily build up in our cells if this recycling process is not done properly. The buildup of misfolded prion proteins is dangerous. This is because when they are misfolded, they cause other normal healthy prion proteins to also misfold, which ultimately leads to the neurons dying. Now that we have discussed what CJD is, we can return to our case study. While a few different case studies describing this condition do exist, this one in particular is quite remarkable. This becomes clear when considering the precise symptoms of this patient. At the onset of this disease, the patient first experienced visual symptoms. Because of this, the patient was diagnosed with a particular form of CJD known as the Heidenhain variant. This is a rare variant of the already rare disorder and is characterized by visual symptoms at the early stage of the disorder. Although this variant of CJD typically starts off with visual symptoms, patients with this condition typically differ from each other quite a lot when it comes to the other symptoms that they experience. This heterogeneity of symptoms has been suggested to be due to different strains of the prion protein that is involved in the disorder. However, although a wide range of different symptoms have been identified among patients with this variant of CJD, the early palynopsia and oscillopsia that were reported in this case are extremely rare, and they are underreported among other cases of the Hayden-Hein variant of CJD. This makes this case report quite unique. The presence of palynopsia and oscillopsia in this patient is possibly due to early rapid progressive degeneration of the occipital lobe where the visual cortex is and the cerebellum. We hope you enjoyed this extraordinary brain and we hope to see you in the next video.